and it's time for entertainment news. Okay, so let's get started. Now, the legendary photo making the rounds on Nigerian social media, yes, a certain photo many have tagged legendary, has been making the rounds online. Now, when you have six original on-screen divas in one photo, there is no other way to describe it, you guys. Now, if you followed the, um, the Nollywood scene in the 90s and early 2000s, then you'd probably recall that Iniedo, Genevieve Naji, Omotala Jalade Akende, um, Uche Jumbo, Rita Dominic, and Stephanie Linus, aka Stephanie Okereke, ruled the scene. Now, Genevieve Naji recently recently held her 40th birthday celebration, which saw a number of celebrities in attendance. But these six ladies in one photo has been the most talked about aspect of the event. Uche Jumbo also went further to tweet a photo of herself, Iniedo, Genevieve, and Rita Dominic, and captioned it, grown. A little Girl Scott reunion happened over the weekend. Now, you might recall that in the early 2000s, the film Girl Scott was a major Hit. Oh my goodness. Mm. I remember that scene where she, <laughs> she went into the boutique to shop. You know that was the thing back then in Nigeria. Yes. They were not be like, please, everybody get out. The president's daughter wants to shop. 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 <laughs> I'm like, does this thing happen in real life? I used to be so <laughs> does so it... upset. Oh my oh goodness. My gosh. That, no, it does. So yeah. because, no, no, are you telling me now mm -mm. that the president's daughter will walk into a shop? I'm there to pay my money too. They will not they'll probably, they'll they'll probably to bring spend. it to her. Right. What did you want to say? My goodness. But then, okay, but then, it's money. <laughs> wow. But this Bye. picture, this picture was, was really, really, it was epic. I, know, I saw a lot of people yeah. reposting it and, mm -hmm. you know, putting it on Instagram Queens. and Twitter. Yeah, they're like, Queens, mm. legend. And then some people were like, oh, where is Messi Johnson? And mm. someone was like, oh, a couple of people actually were like, no, she doesn't belong in that. Really? Yeah. Messi Johnson, like she that. was yes. much, a bit much later. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then wow. someone said, oh, um, this is what we define as class. Not like someone who, Complains about 40 seconds. And I, I, wow. Oh, I she talk about, I what? saw that on, no, no, I saw that on Instagram, like a couple of, I can't remember the handle. I'm, I'm, <laughs> what is she talking about? Who are they talking about? Um, so, like I said, that's <laughs> old person wrote. I don't know. <laughs> What's your problem is, please, can we move on to the next story? Okay. All right, uh, moving on. <laughs> Okay, ah. this is actually sad. Uh, singer Adekunle Gold reportedly loses his father now. Prince Akim Adeyemi Kosoko. According to blogger Linda Ikeji, the singer's father, Prince Akim Adeyemi Kosoko, was passed away last night after suffering an undisclosed ailment. Reports also have it that he was flown out of the country after falling ill some months ago and only recently um, returned to recover. A teacher who works under Mr. Kosoko's district in death was announced this morning to the teachers in the district where he is... Um, the permanent secretary of education. Now, you might recall that last December, Adekunle Gold announced that his father had been promoted to the position of permanent secretary by the Lagos State Government. Now, the singer shared the news in an emotional post on his Instagram page, where he wrote about his father's journey to to um, that point and how he was proud of him. And yeah. I mean, this is just really sad. When I heard about this lesson, I was like, ah, yeah. man, we will not die when it's time for us yeah. to reap the fruits of our labor. Because, yeah. I mean, I remember that post and how um, um, yeah, it was um, in December. Adekunle yeah. you know, said a lot of stuff up that they've been through and mm -hmm. his dad, mm -hmm. and this is like, oh, time for you to... Ah. And how his dad is such an upright man. Yeah. And he never saw him give bribes. He never saw yeah. him, like, cut a red I, light. I, I and he was very, that, Yeah, he was an upright guy. Um, oh, wow. Well, these sad. are still reports. And, light to them. and mm. we're just... I, I tried to, you know, we tried to look out to see if he has said anything. He hasn't said anything. Mm -hmm. Tried to look for clues on his wife's page, look for clues on his sister's mm -hmm. page. There's nothing yet. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens over the next few days okay. but um of course we hope that this is just very sad really it is yeah, yeah. it is yeah. okay okay in foreign news game of thrones star kit arrington checks into rehab for stress and alcohol yes kit arrington popularly known as Jon snow is said to have secretly checked into rehab for stress and alcohol use ahead of the series final episode which reportedly hits him hard yes kit who played Jon snow on the series for Eight years has been at the health um, retreat in Connecticut, USA for nearly a month. The British actor has been undergoing psychological coaching, meditation and behavioral therapy to manage stress and negative emotions. According to a, source, a close source, the end of GOT really hit Kit hard. He, re he realized this is it, this is the end. It was something they had all worked so hard on for so many years. He had a moment of what's next. A rep for the actor also revealed that the actor had decided to utilize this break in the shadow as an opportunity to spend some time at a wellness retreat to work on some personal issues. 
Woo. crazy news I know. right there. Somehow, I think it's very relatable. You know, mm -hmm. you have been at a place for eight mm -hmm. years, and then it's just like, what's, you're, next? You're so, what's next? And what's you're so end? secure, and, and it's so high. So you know that fear of like, you don't want to be this Game of Thrones actor, and then the next thing, you're a random. Yeah, and this fee right weird. now is high, yeah. Yeah. so mm -hmm. you can't just drop any random script and mm. it would be tempted, should I just take this script to just still be yeah. in the limelight yeah. or should I just still chill? I, 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 crazy. I, I actually feel like this is just a smart move. I mean, it should yeah. just calm down, mm -hmm. breathe. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't. There's no, there's no point rushing yourself or anything. I mean, people will always talk anyway. Yeah. If you do mm -hmm. a better job, if you don't, they will still be like, where are you? Where are you? You know. Comparing, this should just, this should just, your, them, like, your this mental is, health is key. So, so important. take care of yourself, be agree. fine first yes. before you can get on any other project. I mean, Game of Thrones is not the end of the world. But I, I think also, don't let anyone put pressure on you. Yeah. And sometimes it's not even people putting pressure, it's yeah, probably yeah, self yeah, inflicted. Yeah. I'm like, you know, what's next? Okay, I've done this for eight years. For some of them, they had been auditioning 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's next? And <laughs> yeah, man. Hearts goes out to you, and I'm glad that, like you yeah, said, he's, he's doing this. It's right a good thing, move, yeah. yeah. And mental health awareness is becoming a bigger thing. Yeah. So I'm is, glad actually. about that, yeah. Yeah, even in Nigeria yeah. as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, and finally, Ellen DeGeneres has revealed that she was sexually abused by her stepfather in an unre unreleased interview on David Letterman's My Next Guest Needs No Introduction. The popular TV host reportedly spoke about her mother marrying a very bad man when Ellen was a teenager. It was also revealed that Ellen explained that at the time, her mother had just been diagnosed with breast cancer and had one of her breasts removed. She further revealed that her stepfather used this information to sexually abuse her. Now, in her words, she said, he told me when she was out of town that he felt a lump in her breast and needed to feel my breast because he didn't want to upset her because he needed to feel mine. She also added that she was very angry at herself for being too weak to stand up to him at the time, which uh, when she was like 15, 16. Now, Ellen is reportedly, uh, she has reported to have had added that the only reason she's going to detail is because she wants other girls to learn from her experience and be inspired to come forward. Now, the comedian and TV host didn't reveal his name and has also not uh, also once revealed in another interview that he has since died. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Can I just say the stories today are quite yeah like they're not like, very uh, exciting but that happens sometimes I know mm. and then it's Ellen yeah. sweet happy yeah. excited Ellen, Ellen yeah. you know <laughs> sometimes like this story just makes me wonder maybe could that have been a reason for her sexual preference mm. we don't know I, well, it's possible, mm. it's possible. Mm. Amanda, Mikey Waters, my friend, she, that's, yeah. that's deep. Mm. Yeah. But, um, but look, she has spoken about this before, she's touched on it before in the past, I think like mm -hmm. 2005 or so. And then, but in this interview, I think she went into further detail. And like you said, she said, look, I'm opening up so that people can come forward. Mm. Um, really bad that people feel the need to sexually assault people. Even till now, it's still happening. Yep. And it's just pathetic. I don't know why you'd be attracted to a four-year-old child or a 16-year-old child, but and he, you're what, like 50s? I remember recently, a celebrity said, um, um, he or she would not let um, a visitor, a male visitor, um, put her daughter on the lap yeah, or yeah, play yeah. with her in funny ways. Mm -hmm. I think that thing is key because it starts from all that. Ah, my wife, my ah, your daughter. Uncle, I yeah, hate uncle. that thing. Yeah. So, so I, lap, I did yeah, mention this for a reason because you know most times these uh, things are so traumatic yeah. to mm -hmm. a child yeah. and you never you never really let it go unless you have, mm -hmm. of course, help and everything. So it's yeah. very very serious mm -hmm. and I'm really glad that she's yeah. coming out to talk about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome. guys, that's it on the news. Sweetville, where we bring you all the savagery, humor, and craziness to show me the ass to offer. So let's get right yeah, yeah, into it. That's on your hand. <laughs> you have joined gang. It's henna. It's henna. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I saw this picture and I literally died. This actually, has this is me it. when Dangote asked me to send him a picture of me after he splashed water on me. He only splashed water, <laughs> but my brother. POP, hand, leg, brain, everything. This is the water. The water made me, you know. You reacted right. to it. The water is like a skin. My skin reaction. is very sensitive. So, like, it sifted through it. my skin, entered like, my bones. No kids. No kids. <laughs> like, Nigerians are sharp. This would be actually, I can't think this of any Nigerian that would be this. Me. Huh. <laughs> Nagote, you wounded me. Dangote. <laughs> apparently, no, that's what I'm going to say. Actually, if he's around that, I say apparently there was, there was a bit of um, acid water, um, battery water, plus engine oil, everything. Wow. Like so as soon as the thing touched me, it burns. Mm. Okay, it burns. people burn melted stuff. it. That's, <laughs> that's why they now cover this with bandage. And there's no insurance. So, sir, you have to take care of this. <laughs> Collect the money. Be sharp. This is my meme. Think. I think Moving about on. 
Oh. Mm. Amanda, oh. wow, can you relate? This mm -hmm. table. I can't. Who are we? Married, Married men. men. Please, can you show me? Who are we? Married, Married men. men. Who are we? Married men. men. What's our slogan? I wish I, I met you before, before I met my wife. Who are we? Married men. men. What's our slogan? I wish I met you before I met my wife. <laughs> Come, dear married me, come, come. Let me talk ah. to you. You are shameless. You are. You need to stop. Mm -hmm. Just stop. Mm -hmm. Keep it in your pants. Just tell stop. It. Tell them. Stop. Tell them. Oh. <laughs> How do you imagine? I wish I met you before my wife. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> like, I don't need to say more. Bro, gosh. We have Shah Maria. Stick with her. Amanda, has the married man ever to said you or said this what? to you? Uh oh. The one Please I told you that he said. Me? Do not I, involve me. I just next. said you. Next. Okay, you just said me. Uh -uh. I want you to use me. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. That's that slogan. <laughs> I know they were big. And I like that our song. Ooh, wish. Married man. What's that slogan? I wish, wish I, I met you before I met my wife. <laughs> <laughs> what ridiculous. Okay, moving on. Oh my goodness. Why? Nollywood movies are very funny. They won't have enough budget for a full movie. Movie. Film would just stop in the middle and they will explain the rest in writing. <laughs> Jude later grew up, became an accountant and married Mary while Patricia and his wicked stepmother died. So God be the no, glory. No, but, but, uh, but I'm very, so you know, foreign movies do this as well. Exactly. Let, let, let's give Nollywood some yeah, credit. Just, they do. But wait, there was one I was watching when I was younger. Yeah, and then at the end, and I put, <laughs> I put, is Aladdin die or not? And I'm like, <laughs> do not. Do not, do not. If, what if, you you must, if you must speak English in a Yoruba movie. Oh, my waist, everything is spending me. <laughs> then you at least, it was not in bold letters. It's not part of this face. The moon and the was like, What? Is Alade die or not? <laughs> Find out in part two. <laughs> two. Oh, wow, well, breathe. Okay. As in, yes. I would first. <laughs> I like to apologize on behalf of the oh, association. Oh, it's true, in that industry. It's not yeah. like we don't have full budget. The problem is just that. I think mm -hmm. it's okay with your yeah. speech. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> Motivational speakers, you can achieve anything. You have a tiger in you me. You have a tiger. The tiger is me, it's asleep. No, no, no. <laughs> I read The tiger in me, it's asleep. I read You have to do it in the motivational okay. speaker's voice. Okay. Uh -huh. You can achieve anything. Mm -hmm. You have a tiger in you. Mm -hmm. You have to let it out. Mm -hmm. yes. Unleash it. Mm. Yes. If I unleash it, Roll it's like a lion. That's the tiger. By the time I unleash it, this is it. It's sleeping. Hey, when guy leave me? The tiger is asleep. Most people ask me, said, um, um, American people. You have to um, fire to retire you, to retire. No, no, no. How did you, how did you make your, um, how did you make your first million? I worked, I, I came up with an app, I sold this, I did this. Mm -hmm. Ask um, yes. everybody, Nigerian, motivational speaker, how did you make your one million? I was passionate. Passion and hard work. <laughs> hard, I was and determined. God pushed me through. Determination. I just, and then when I got fired, mm -hmm. I re, I, and I refired. Mm -hmm. And I did not retire. De I, I had to inspire. Dear yeah, motivational speaker, <laughs> I perspired. <laughs> Do you understand that you are trying to help us understand that we need to be strong on the, you know, on the inner part of ourselves, we have to be confident oh and we have to be strong. But tell us the truth. how you made mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I tell us. I Don't be telling us about how you prayed and fasted. We all pray, we all fast. I that not happen. How did you make it in life? Listen. How did you make it in life? Um, <laughs> look, <laughs> persistence, consistency. I was, you know, I was just very, I just kept pushing. I was very persistent. I didn't give up. And then I was consistent as well. Wow. Let's just move on. Don't say nonsense with confidence. Please. Were you okay. also insistent? Yes, I was because mm. I insisted to be here. Wow. <laughs> I'm going home. Give me both. Please, you should be telling us the truth. But just ask you, we get that you're trying to motivate oh. us, but motivate us with you know, realistic this. stuff too. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Do this. I have a very good. Don't do this. Do Come back. We're here. <laughs> I have a very huge respect for those who didn't watch Game of Thrones. Yeah. Mm. Not even a single episode. Yeah. Even with all the noise made online and offline. Yeah. yeah. This set of people, we, cannot be affected <laughs> by social pressure. Well, like, like peer pressure or any kind of pressure in the world. Very true. See what my boyfriend calls. I fall there among this list of restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> Why you not focus? You have loose. Ah, yeah. lose focus. They would have respected me. Okay. <laughs> You don't lose focus. Mm. Me, very confident. Yeah, I don't I'm not going to watch it. I don't regret not being respected. It's so okay. I just watched season this. one and two, but I think Game of Thrones I don't respect you. Hype. You watched season one and two. Yeah, I don't stopped. care for you like that. Look, ah. look. This one is just look. like yeah, so uh, the look. only thing I know in Game of Thrones, Thrones mm. is uh, my producer. What's her name? Your producer. That made me know it. Okay. What is this boy's name? Oh, Jon Snow. 
Um, he said, he said, are you a Stark or are you a Shark? Are you a Stark? Are you a Stark? Whatever. What? I never watched it. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know if it's in America or if it's in the village or if it's epic it's or okay. whatever. So I'm respected. Thank you, Thank you so much. No kind of pressure. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks